Well, uh, as you well know, the uh, maybe from your own budget and the challenges uh, you may have there, keeping uh, keeping budgets balanced and things of that nature can be difficult, particularly if you are a municipality, for example. And the uh, Wayne County Executive, who is the man in charge of county operations in Wayne County, including the Detroit area, is calling attention to this plight. In fact, in his State of the County address in 2016, Warren Evans said the current system is broken. And so he's on a, a tour of sorts in the state, uh, kicking off what's called the Investing in Michigan Communities Finding Fair Funding for Strong Successful Communities statewide tour. And he's on the line this morning with us to talk about that. Mr. Evans, good morning to you. Good morning to you, and thanks for having me. Well, we appreciate the time that you're giving us today. Just uh, so folks understand, the executive position in Wayne County is uh, similar to what in other counties? A county administrator? Uh, yeah, and uh, county executives. Uh, Oakland County has one, Kent County. So mm -hmm. pretty much the uh, the administrator, elected administrator for uh, uh, the county, a uh, little unique in that you have a number of other elected officials whose budgets you manage but uh, have separate authority, your sheriff, your prosecutor, your treasurer, register of deeds, that sort of thing. So, right. Uh, large county, 41 communities last I counted, <laughs> uh, and uh, a, a myriad of issues, just like everywhere else in the state. But, you know, we're finding common threads mm -hmm. with that ability to, to try to manage, and a lot of it is funding-related, and if you look at, Michigan compared to the other 50 states, we are dead last in the amount of revenue that goes back to local communities uh, in revenue sharing or what other, uh, whatever other vehicle uh, uh, is used. And, and that's a telling number. It'd be, it'd be 50th in anything. Uh, ought to get you to stop and think. Mm, that's for sure. We certainly have heard that here in Calhoun County, certainly at the county level and at the city level, that you just can't count on what that revenue sharing number is going to be. Yeah, absolutely. And it's hard to budget forward when you don't know what to expect. Uh, what we've all come to expect is it's going to be far less than it should be. Uh, but we don't even know what that is. And uh, if you look, you know, throughout the entire state, I mean, there's, you know, it's a very diverse state with a lot of different things going on. So when you start finding common threads like lack of revenue sharing and, uh, inability to maintain, you know, what we think are critical services, police and fire and other related things. You've got to kind of, I think, do what I'm doing, which is kind of walk around and, and, and talk with folks throughout the state. I mean, Wayne County is not the brain center of the state any more than any other places. There's some really able administrators and uh, municipal finance people out here. We need to, to figure out, first of all, how do we get into this mess and what are some of the opportunities to try to get out? And while I'm doing this, what I'm finding is, there's also a big divide between the east side of the state and the west, mm -hmm. at least southeast. And, and so the dialogue is helpful uh, in trying to bring, you know, some commonality to, uh, to both sides. And, mm -hmm. you know, and dialogue is a great place to start that. And we've been, uh, we've been meeting with much success in, the, in that area, along with the common themes of uh, lack of finances. How did this get broken? What happened? Well, you know, depending on uh, depending on who you talk to, uh, you probably get several different answers. But one is that the initial idea of revenue sharing was one that uh, made it easier for the state to take the money and give the money back rather than municipalities trying to deal with it themselves. And what's happened over the years is the amount of money coming back is far less than initially was promised. And, uh, you know, we're kind of there Uh uh, at the at the tail end of this, if you mm -hmm. talk to other people, they would say that the state bureaucracy has grown significantly at the expense of local communities. I mean, you know, there there's no one answer. Uh, I'm real clear about that, uh, but there is a similar uh, uh, common problem. And so, to me, the idea is to try to figure out when you know something's broken, you got to try to design a way out of it. I mean, I don't have rose-colored glasses about how easy this will be. I don't think it'll be easy, um, but if it's broken, we have to start the dialogue, start the process of trying to figure out how to fix it. There have been way too many emergency managers, in my opinion, in in, uh, in Michigan, 
you know, some of them because municipalities have mismanaged their resources, but in others, they just didn't have enough resources to get it done in the first place. Mm-hmm. I think you got to take note of that. Wayne County is a prime example of, a, you know, uh, two years ago when I took office or 18 months ago when I took office, you know, we were written off as going to be the next big bankruptcy. Well, we're no longer in financial distress. I mean, we paid down our accumulated deficit. We paid down our uh, 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 structural deficit. You know, we uh, stabilized our pension funds. We cut OPEB health care costs, and we still don't have enough operating money to do what we need to do. So mm-hmm. we're running fiscally sensibly. Uh, but having said that, there are things that county residents deserve and are supposed to have in terms of services, uh, and it's very difficult to uh, to meet those needs. So we're frustrated, as are people all over the state. As you have begun to have these conversations, have there been some solutions that have been suggested? Uh, there are, and some of them, I think, are, are, are uh, interesting solutions. Many of them are good for a geographic area, but would never get traction somewhere else. And so what this process is trying to do is to give us the rest of this year to go around the state and gather uh, ideas and solutions and then come back and think tank all of those options and try to whittle it down to something that uh, we think would take traction generally throughout the state. Mm -hmm. Uh, In other words, I don't think there's uh, any one issue that's going to be comfortable for everybody, but I think uh, we can probably tailor something that would be acceptable to everybody and certainly generate more revenue for uh, municipalities, which is our goal in the first place. Whatever those ideas are, then you'd have to sell it to the legislature, right? Absolutely. But, you know, uh, yeah, well, in most instances, that would be the case. I mean, I guess there are other uh, options that may be a little different. But, yeah, we do. And, and, I, and we have to remember, while there's a lot of, you know, uh, mashing the teeth about what the legislature is and isn't doing. I mean, at the end of the day, they represent these communities. And so if the communities are strong enough uh, and are strong advocates for solutions, I I think you'll see um, the legislators uh, uh, being as compliant as as they can. So what kind of a time frame are you working with here as you gather this information? Well, we, we plan to... Uh, hit all of the, the, the major areas of the state uh, by mid-fall. Uh, we're going to gather information. We are going to get the information that we've gathered out to all of the other places that we've been to so that uh, people have the same body of, uh, uh, of information and knowledge we've gathered. Uh, and then we're going to bring uh, those areas together in a, uh, a way with some municipal finance experts uh, throughout the state to sit down and start the hard job of trying to craft what will work, why will that work, and how do we make it palatable for all of the regions of this very, very diverse state. Uh, It's not going to be easy, but it's got to be done, and uh, I'm optimistic that we'll make progress. As you're fact-finding, what are some of the things you're asking other counties? Uh, Do you have a deficit? Uh, Do you need, uh, where would you use more revenue sharing? Are those the kinds of things you want to know? Certainly, yeah. Where are the where are your real real soft spots for counties? Uh, it's very much property taxes because it's you know the largest portion of any county's revenue. Uh, and with Headley and Proposition A, uh, it works great when property values go down. You get the relief uh, that you need uh, in terms of a reduction in your property taxes, but because of Uh, Headley, when your property value goes back up to where it was when you purchased the house or even higher, uh, it'll take counties 15 years with the inflationary cap uh, to get property taxes back up to where you agreed in the first place. And I Mm -hmm. think that's fundamentally unfair, but it also uh, is a tough nut to crack in terms of a solution. So while I've identified that as a problem, I'm not so sure it's going to be a part of the solution because I'm not sure that uh, the state as a whole would be willing to... uh, you know, to to, to change that. And, you know, we're just looking for results somewhere. How it happens is not near as important to me as having solvent uh, uh, municipalities, you know, townships, villages, and counties that uh, can provide, you know, appropriate services to the people that they they serve. Well, we'll be interested to hear about uh, the results of the things you learn. 
Well, thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you about it. And, uh, we're going to work hard to try to come up with some solutions. And they're not going to be Wayne County solutions. They're going to be statewide solutions. And hopefully that's what makes the difference in terms of its uh, plausibility. All right. Well, we'll stay in touch on that and uh, see what you come up with. Uh, Warren Evans is the Wayne County Executive working on a statewide tour called Investing in Michigan Communities, Finding Fair Funding for Strong, Successful Communities. And uh, it's centered around the issue of revenue sharing or lack thereof from the state.